Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Classic Beauty Goddess. If you're new here, hello, I'm Megan, and I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. Today's video is all about some speed reviews of the products that I have in this empty bag. Well, it was full. Um, so if you're interested in getting some real reviews on products I have completely used up, then let's get started. For today's video, I have a variety of beauty products ranging from skincare to hair care. So I am going to try and dive right in. The first thing you should know is that anything that I could find a link for will be linked in the description box. And secondly, I decided not to include anything that was a sample or a travel size item. I didn't want this video to be too long. And a lot of times if you get a sample of something or even if you get a trial size or a travel size, um, the sample sizes aren't really enough to know if you like it long term. And travel sizes are probably items that you buy in regular size anyway. So I thought I would stick with full size products. I'm going to start with the Chantecaille. Rose de my cleansing balm. This is my second one. I actually got this one. The spatula is in there. Um, I actually got this one from my mom because she was not a fan of it. I actually really like this balm. I think that it has a very nice creamy texture and it does not make my skin feel dry or stripped in any way. The only thing I will say about this is that this does not remove my mascara. And it doesn't matter if I'm wearing waterproof or non-waterproof because I don't really wear waterproof anymore, but I do have a mascara that's waterproof right now. This does not take it off. So that is my only pain point with this because of the price tag. It needs to do everything. The second item on my list is the Suwasu Gentle Cleansing Foam. This is the water-based cleanser, the second step, if you will, in a two-step cleansing duo. Um, the Suwasu Cleansing Duo is my absolute favorite. I have not found anything that surpasses that. You probably don't remember because I don't think I've done an empties video since the first half of last year, so probably a year ago. Um, I had the cleansing oil in that video, so that's why this one is all alone by itself. I This ran out after the fact. Um, but Suwasu is my favorite for that dual cleanse. Next, I have two moisturizers, and they are very similar. The first one is the Pyong Kang Yule Calming Moisture Barrier Cream. This has kind of a bluish green gray top and it's in a clear plastic container. It is, I thought it told me how many ounces it is. It probably doesn't have it in numbers I can see. <laughs> um, but I really like this. This has a super light gel-like texture. I love it for spring and summer, especially in the hot, humid weather that we get here in Florida because I do have combination skin and it leaves my skin moisturized without feeling like I have a layer of something on my skin. The second one is the Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. This comes in a frosted glass container, white top, and they are, I believe, the same product amount in each. I could be wrong, but um, I think they're about the same. The Beauty of Joseon Cream is at least twice as much as the PKY, but they're both under $30 typically. And this one I think is under 15. Um, they're very similar in texture. I do think that the Beauty of Joseon is a little bit creamier, but they're both very lightweight. So if you have combination or oily skin, I think it's possible that these could work for you. Maybe this one, the PKY more so if you have oily skin, 
but I think that they're both fantastic. I really like them both. It's really just a matter of the season I'm in and how much I want to spend on moisturizer that particular purchase. <laughs> so I think that they're great. Next item on my list is the Elastin Skincare Hydra Tint Pro Mineral Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 36. I really liked this. I was having some trouble with another tinted moisturizer I had gotten because as we all are, I was influenced to try a particular brand that's very popular and I it just didn't work for me. It's uh, it appeared to dry out my skin throughout the day and I had not changed my skincare routine in any way. So it does even out your skin tone. So I liked this. I have not repurchased it because I am trying to find something a little easier. Um, I think I bought this at a spa or something. So I'm sure you can find it on their website, um, but it's not at like Sephora or anything like that. So, um, but I did really like it. I think it's a very good product. Okay, so that is it for skincare. I am going to jump into, well, I guess this is skincare too. This is the Shantikai Lip Potion. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know that I try to start, um, I would start videos putting on the lip potion. It's one of my absolute favorite products. I've not repurchased it because I do have some other lip products that I've been trying for the past couple of months and even more recently. So um, it is a great product. I don't love that it's in a jar only because um, it's more difficult to get out, especially the farther in that you go. Um, but they actually just came out with a Rose de My lip balm. When I checked the pre-sale on Nordstrom's website, um, it was a little more expensive than the lip potion. And I don't know if I'm going to try it as much as I would like to. I don't know that the price point is best for me right now. So it may be something that I wait and try later on in the future. The next product I have is the Chantecai Le Camouflage Stilo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. I really enjoy this product. Um, it is very nice for light concealing and brightening. That is what this is best for. And I don't have super dark circles or anything. So for me, this is a really good product. I don't necessarily need anything heavier, especially in the summer. It's nice because it's a very nice light, um, lightweight feeling. It doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything. So I do really like that. And finally, in the makeup category, my Chantecai Flower Power Perfect Blur Finishing Powder is finally empty. I used as much of it as I possibly could. You can even see some spots that are completely missing, but there's really not much more I can do with this. So I am saying goodbye. I do love the packaging. I thought that, that the 3D flowers on it is super beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm debating um, because everything else I will recycle or throw away depending on what I can do with it. So I am debating what to do with this because I just think it's so pretty. I love this powder. I think that the um, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder from Chantecai is the absolute best. It is um, in more of like a pebble type packaging. Um, similar to their single blushes where it has kind of that, um, I don't know if you can see that kind of pebbled effect on there, except of course it is larger and it's more of, I think, a darker gray. So um, it is available all year round and it's beautiful. I, it, no matter what I'm wearing, if it starts to break apart or something if it just starts to kind of wear down middle of the day end of the day and I need it to look fresh again I put this on I buff it on and it looks like I just did my makeup it's incredible so we'll see if I get it again I've been trying to find something that works similarly but a little lower price point 
Um, I decided this is a petite, but I had gotten to, I'm not sure where the other one got to, but this is something I got in the mini size so that I could try it, test it and report on it. Um, this is the La Petite Madame Lemmy baking soda free, all natural deodorant and body powder in rose. So it comes in this cardboard packaging and it has a little puff, which I absolutely love. And you can see that it has a sift here in the top. So what I would do typically is shake it up, tap it, and then open it up. Oh, I guess there's a tiny bit of powder left in there. And then you just use your little puff and you can put it on. Um, I will say that this was not the best deodorant for me. It may work for other people. I've seen a lot of good reviews online, so there are people who love this. Um, and it has a beautiful scent. It is a natural rose scent. It's very light. It doesn't really stick around. Um, there was just something about it that made me think of my grandmother and I just really wanted to try it. Um, I do think that it's nice, but again, unfortunately, I perspire, especially in the spring and summer when it's very humid. I walk outside and I'm like, done. So as much as I really want a natural deodorant to work for me, this unfortunately didn't work enough to make me feel comfortable. So it may work for you, it may be beautiful. I like that it comes in these sizes so you can buy a little one. They come in full sizes. This would be great for travel. And they also come in refills, so you don't have to just keep buying these packaging, these packages. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there were four different fragrances in, well, in you know every size. Um, this is the rose. Now this is the baking free, baking soda free rose, but there is a regular rose that I guess may have baking soda in it. Um, I had also gotten the lavender, and then I think there are two different citrus scents, um, one of which might have bergamot in it. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for a natural deodorant and haven't found one yet that you like, um, that may be something to look at. Even if it's not your all the time, I mean, I could probably use this, especially if I'm working from home, but if I'm in the office or if I'm you know, exercising or doing something, I would need something a little stronger. Um, next we're going to get into hair. I have the, um, Divine's Davines. I don't know how you say this. I feel like I should be fancy. Um, but this is the Melu or Milu conditioner. This is the full size. I did originally purchase the smaller size to test it and see how it works. This one is specifically for, um, it's a mellow anti-breakage lustrous conditioner for long or damaged hair. Um, my hairstylist recommended this brand and this particular conditioner, and I love it. Um, I do think that it makes my hair shiny and soft and smooth, and I just, you know, this is great, and I think for the price, it's reasonable and comparable to a lot of other things, unless you're shopping the drugstore. So. I really like it and I think that the brand is great. One of the wonderful things about it is you can get it on Amazon. I'm just saying. <laughs> there are different types of products for different types of hair. So depending on what you need. Um, but they do come in smaller sizes that are great for travel. So if you want to try those and test those out, that's what I did. I think that's a great idea. You can also mix and match them, which is nice. You don't have to buy the same shampoo to go with the same conditioner. And because they're all under the same brand, they're all made to work together. This was another hair product that my hairstylist recommended. It's from the brand In Common, and it's the Magic Mist 4-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. It's also a detangler, a smoothing balm, and a heat protectant. This is the smaller size, I believe. I believe that this does come in a larger size. This is three ounces, and I think it comes, I don't know what the larger size is, but I really like this. Um, it really does make a difference for detangling on my hair, and 
I do notice a little bit of a difference with smoothing and I also think that it's a good heat protectant. So um, I do have another one of these. I think I bought it before I traveled um, in December and it's just one of my favorite, favorite new products. And last but not least, I have the Derma B Mild Moisture Body Lotion that is fragrance free. I learned about this brand from Kelly Driscoll here on YouTube. Um, she does a lot of K-Beauty skincare, body care, makeup, and she recommended this brand. Now, she actually recommended the Body Butter, and I have tried that. It's very thick. It's very rich. Um, it reminds me of the First Aid Beauty Ultimate Cream or whatever it's called that you can use all over. Um except I actually think it's a little thicker than that. So if you have dry skin, you may want to try that one. But if you want something that's lightweight but fragrance-free, this is wonderful. Um, I like this better than Dove. I like this better than Aveeno. This does not irritate my skin whatsoever, and I have very sensitive skin. So that would be my pick, and you can get it on Amazon. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to stick with me and watch to the end. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, leave me a comment on some of your favorite products that you have been using lately. Maybe something that you have just recently run out of and you have repurchased and share my channel with your friends and family because I would love to continue to grow my community here. And as always, I hope that you are doing well wherever you are. Please have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you next time. Bye.